Good evening. Um, I'm Tim, and I'm going to tell you about our work in medical palpation using uh, ultrasound. So, um, um, medical imaging has made tremendous progress in the last hundred years since its inception and provides a lot of features about tissue, but it still cannot answer in a quick, inexpensive, and quantitative way a fundamental question about tissue, whether tissue is hard or soft. This question is answered very well by an ancient technique of palpation that was practiced by traditional Chinese medicine and by Greek medicine. In palpation, doctors push, feel, and interpret their feeling about the tissue into finding inconsistencies that may correlate with disease, such as breast or prostate cancer. In our work with my colleague Rob Rowling, we have tried to interpret and to understand how we can quanti quantitatively modify this palpation using, using medical ultrasound. And a bird's eye view of our work is provided by uh, Dr. Hibbert, who applied a very sophisticated uh, fat analysis to a very famous patient we uh, should all uh, know. This is Homer Simpson, and his test was to push and to measure the time it takes the jiggling to stop. <laughs> and as you can see, it was long enough for him to have to cancel his next appointment. <laughs> On a more serious note, we, let's consider a piece of tissue shown in blue with a stiffer enclosure or lump shown in red. Okay, if you apply a conventional ultrasound machine to image this tissue, you will not necessarily see the stiffer lamp. We have developed shear wave absolute vibroelastography, or S-wave, which works by pushing the tissue with an activator, measuring the waves that we send through tissue, and using these measurements to provide a quantitative image of tissue properties. Our S-wave method is the only quantitative palpation method that produces images deep inside the human body and can produce large volumes of tissue characterized in real time. With the doctors from the Faculty of Medicine, uh, Larry Goldenberg, Paula Gordon, Jim Morris, and Peter Black, we have implemented our S-wave techniques for the breast and for the prostate. And in nearly 100 patients, we have shown that we can drastically improve the accuracy of cancer detection relative to conventional ultrasound. We have also developed a system for liver imaging and have tested it in healthy volunteers. Liver imaging is important because liver stiffness correlates very directly with liver disease. Now, if our studies get verified by bigger patient studies, which we have now in progress, then you have to account that one in eight women will be diagnosed with invasive breast cancer, one in seven men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer, and one in five individuals suffer from chronic liver disease. So our method can have a huge impact. In fact, for prostate, breast, and liver, we can drastically reduce the number of biopsies required for diagnosis and management of disease, and we can all identify with that. Now, our team, uh, with Rob Rowling and students um, uh, in the RCL lab at UBC, uh, we have been funded by federal, provincial, and donor funding, and we are very grateful, grateful for the opportunity to do this work. We started Sonic Insights, which is part of Hatch at UBC, in order to commercialize our technology. Sonic Insights has an enthusiastic and experienced team and is led by our CEO, George Aliftiras. George plans to lead us in commercializing a point-of-care liver imaging method. So I'd like to say that uh, 
working towards understanding the physical properties of tissue from basic principles of physics and engineering has been thrilling. And actually pursuing this for commercialization so people can use it and benefit from it is even a bigger thrill. Our vision is to put our S-Wave technology into every MD's office so that they can better diagnose, screen, and manage disease. Thank you very much for your attention.